Hi, everybody. My name is Alex Dote, and today I have the pleasure of introducing the most successful international golfer of all time, winner of 165 professional golf tournaments worldwide, and the only player in history to complete the career Grand Slam on both the PGA Tour and Senior Tour. Without further ado, please introduce Mr. Gary Player. Gary, hi, how are you? Alex, nice to see you and all your viewers as well. Thank you. Jero Sky John on Instagram wants to know, in your early career and throughout your senior tour career, would you have used irons with game improvement technology if available like PXG? If so, what are the advantages in your mind compared to irons that are less user friendly? I wish, uh, I wish people could see the equipment that we played with. And as for who might be the greatest golfer that ever lived is Bobby Jones. When you think he played with a, a shaft that was like a walking stick, no grooves, a golf ball that went 80 yards less than now. They never cut the greens with these beautiful mowers. Mm -hmm. They left the pit in the same place all four days. The bunkers were raked with your feet. You were not allowed to knock down spike marks. Think about it. And you look at the scores that Bobby Jones did was phenomenal. So a man I admire very, very much indeed. He was a well-spoken man. He dressed beautifully and uh, he behaved extremely well. So he was a, a tremendous asset to the golf course. What was the other part of the question? What, what are the advantages in your mind with irons with PXG's technology versus what people have had to use in the past? If you take the irons or let's take the woods, uh, uh, you know, particularly woods with a persimmon head, when you hit it on the toe, it hooked more. When you hit it on the heel, it sliced more. Mm -hmm. I played this morning and I had several drives on the toe with dead straight, several balls on the heel, dead straight. Massive improvement. With irons, the grooves that we have today weren't accepted when we played golf. They were considered illegal, but we've got a, over that boundary now and we're accepting it. And so mm -hmm. the clubs are made with better weight distribution, far better weight distribution. The difference in our time and they change the irons, is a one club going to one club length. That's a lot. That's almost 10 yards per club. Yeah. So technology has gone into with a lighter shaft, grips. We used to put wrap grips on with an under listing underneath. Now you just slide a little grip on. It's much mm -hmm. lighter. So you can have a lighter club with a more um, advantaged head with weight distribution and metal distribution, which obviously compresses the ball better than under the clubs we used to use. No comparison. Absolutely. That's why you cannot make a comparison between, say, a Jack Nicklaus and a Tiger Woods. It's, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We lived in different eras. And so how can you compare when a man's using a Rolls Royce and another man's using a car horse? Can't do it. It's <laughs> a good analogy. It makes sense to me. Okay, Chris D. Can on Twitter would like to know, what shaft do you play in your Gen 3 irons? Christy, I use a, a very stiff shaft usually because Ben Hogan once said to me, he said, you do not want to use too whippy a shaft because when you use a whippy shaft, the club head gets to the ball too early or the club head gets too late. Whereas mm -hmm. if you've got a stiffer shaft, it's part of your body. It's part of your arms. It's more part of your body. So it gets there to the ball at the same time, there's no flipping and being late uh, and your hands crossing over too much. So I've always said I don't believe in a, in a very soft shaft. Uh, I think that's very exaggerated. I take a soft shaft. I don't hit it anywhere near as straight as I do with a stiffer shaft. It doesn't matter if, which I don't believe it is, but if you subconsciously feel, and that's in your mind again, mm -hmm. that you don't hit seven iron as far with a stiff shaft, so what? Take a six iron. But there's no comparison in any of the equipment that we use. When we used to play, the first tournament I played in the British Open, they walked on the tee and said, here are your three balls for the week. Now they give you three dozen every week. <laughs> and yeah. we, had a ring, we had a ring on the side of our pants. And every dozen balls we got, we try to push through the ring. Some of them would go through the ring. At least one or two out of every dozen of those days never went through the ring. So you put it in your shag bag. So the ball is the most 
controversial part of golf today. They should cut the ball back 50 yards for the pros, leave everything as it is for the amateur. The amateur is the whole name of the game. they the heart of the game. Pros are not that important, but the golf courses are becoming obsolete and we haven't started yet. Guys in 40 years time will hit the ball 80 yards further than Tiger Woods, Dustin Johnson, Kepka, Rory McIlroy, they'll hit it 80 yards further. We haven't, we haven't even touched or scraped the surface of this game yet. Incredible. And it's a game for a lifetime, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's and many more time. For me. All my friends are dead at 84, however, but it's kept me alive and very fit and strong. And I do a lot of business on the golf course. I love to do dinner talks. I love to uh, play with people. I represent companies. I love to play with weekend golfers. I just love the game. What a game. And it, I can tell it absolutely resonates in everything you say, conversation, everything. You said happiness is contagious. And when you talk about golf, I can definitely hear that. Okay, next question. A Gonzo on Instagram wants to know, what went into your putter decision? What I look for, I like for a putter that's a little upright, not too flat. Aoki from Japan, one of the best putters that ever lived, had his head very flat and he had his hands down when he putted, the toe was up in the air. So there are many ways to putt. A putter is, is purely what you feel confidence. Confident, oh, that looks good to me. I like that. Mm -hmm. If you feel confident, you putt well. If you don't have confidence and you don't believe you're a good putter, you won't do it. What are you most looking forward to when golf season returns? Playing with my friends, playing with people I've never met before, having breakfast with some guy at the club, helping some old guy who's struggling on the practice tee to play well, meeting a young guy with a great smile and who has great enthusiasm. And enthusiasm is one of the great essences of life. And to be able to be with people and my friends and play golf and travel around the world like I usually do, and, uh, oh, I've missed golf terribly this last seven weeks. I've been luckily, uh, I've kept myself very, very occupied, but I, oh, I've enjoyed the last three days getting back to play. Wonderful. Gary, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. And I look forward to getting to talk with you more soon. Great pleasure. My love to all your viewers. Thanks. Bye, Gary.